Howdy folks, Max Mogern reporting from beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming for Oil Free Fun and the Sheep Eater. It is January 7th, 2013, 2014, excuse me, 8 p.m. And I'm here on bishopweather.com. A friend just sent me this site and it's got a great weather cam time lapse. Uh, big thanks to Sierra Impressions Photography uh, for putting this together. I recently put a video out about the impact of persistent jet trails. Uh, call them contrails, call them chemtrails, call them geoengineering, call them whatever you want to, but just acknowledge that they exist. And the video is on the impact of these trails on the weather and climate, specifically as it pertained to the horrible drought in California. And here we're on the TimeCam TV. Notice the timestamp here in the upper corner. That day there, this is one week, there's another day, uh, no real evidence of lingering trails, two days in a row, and watch what happens on Monday, the 6th, whoa, see that, heavy, you know, heavy trails, and then we see uh, the, the sky cloud up, same thing on the 7th, uh, there's trails in there and spots, wait for it, you'll see, uh, there we go, right there, boom, heavy trails, and the sky clouds up. Uh, let's look at yesterday. I think yesterday is probably the best. I'm going to put it into slow mo here. Uh, this is bishopweather.com if anybody wants to play with this themselves. This time cam format is kind of limiting and it's not the best, but look. Okay, this is Monday the 6th. Timestamps up here. Heavy trails. What happens? A high cirrus haze forms over the mountains. And there we see more trails being laid down, lingering and spreading. Uh, this camera updates about every eight minutes in this little time-lapse animation here, so it's not ideal. It would be amazing if we could see this in, uh, in you know, sped up with a frame every 30 seconds versus every eight minutes. But uh, you get the general idea. These planes leave these lingering trails. These trails spread and form a high cirrus haze. Uh, these high cirrus hazes have a greenhouse warming impact. They're also known to decrease precipitation. And they will decrease evaporation over the ocean as well, meaning they'll decrease the overall amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. Uh, and I believe it's contributing to drought. There we see another couple of planes right before the sunset, looking hazy all the way through. Just like these little bands of haze. Really interesting. So that was yesterday. Let's look at today. Again, it's 8 p.m., so it's 7 p.m. in California. It's already dark there. But here's today's animation. There we see some trails. Uh, this one, it's even it's so hazy that it's hard to even make out any trails for the most part. But later in the day, we really see quite a few. Uh, we just got that high haze all day. Boom, there we go. I paused it so we can look at these in depth. There we see obvious trail, obvious trail, obvious trail. Notice how these trails, there's a trail laid down. That trail there is going to be higher on the image uh, eight minutes later. And there it is. You can see it's spread and grown. Same with that one. So there's that high series haze. This, see this little dash there, that little notch in the sky? I would venture to guess that that is a normal airplane leaving a normal contrail that's dissipating quickly. And then again, it goes blue in the evening. So just really interesting, interesting weather. But this is what I'm talking about in that video. Anybody that's not aware of this must not look at the sky very much. And in my time when I was out in California, I saw this sort of thing all the time. Uh, let's look at the one month and just see. Okay, spray day, spray day, spray day. Spray day. So it's hard to even gauge that, but let's see. We'll go back to the beginning. Look at the timestamps on this. December 7th. December 8th. Looks pretty clear. Now, again, this is only capturing at noon. So if they could have had spray later in the day or earlier in the day, but it's not visible. But that, okay, the 15th looks like some haze there. 16th, obvious spray day. 17th, obvious spray day. 18th looks like a spray day to me, but it's hard to tell because we don't see those obvious linear formations. Uh, 19th looks like snow. 
And sure enough, let's go back. Yeah, there's been a little snow. 21st, maybe a little spray off in the distance. 22nd, definitely some spray. 23rd, pretty clear. 24th, spray. Clear, clear, clear. Again, this is only for part of the day. 30th, obviously a spray day. That's classic geoengineered skyscape. 31st looks pretty natural to me, actually. First, spray day, obviously. Third, we just get the second, I guess. So the third, no spray. Fourth, no spray. Fifth, no spray. Sixth, a lot of spray. Seventh was also spray day, as we saw. If we go in the one week again, just to close it out, let's look at the last week. We can really, you can really tell what happened throughout the day. I'm going to put it into slow-mo. This is the last one, I promise. But let's just see. January 1st, spray day. Right? See the trails. See the lingering spreading. God, that, that was an awful day. January 2nd, another spray day. Horrible spray day. Here we go, January 3rd. Looks pretty clear. A few little trails. Okay, January 3rd, spray day as well. January 4th. This one is the one that was clear, and then the 5th was clear as well. And then the 6th and 7th looked atrocious, I believe. Let's just double check. So, yep, the 5th, another beautiful clear day. That's what the sky is supposed to look like during high pressure. And the 6th, spray day. No denying that. And again, into the seventh, another spray day. So there you have it, folks. Uh, thanks again to bishopweather.com uh, for this time cam time lapse here. Check out my video on Facebook, the Sheep Eater, or tukadika.com. Uh, that check out my latest videos on Facebook or on uh, tukadika.com, the Sheep Eater. Uh, Max Mugger signing off. One love. Peace.